Um, so in this case, ladies and gentlemen, we are kind of set up pretty nicely because instead of having to factor something or anything else, we already have a zero product property set up. So now I can just say that I have cosine of 2x equals 0, and then 2 cosine of x plus 1 equals 0. Now we're trying to find all the solutions. So we are going to be using our uh, plus 2 pi or plus pi or whatever else is going to be the case. So here I can solve this. So, and then divide by 2. So you can say cosine of x equals negative 1 half. And over here, I have cosine of 2x. Well, we already have it equal to 0. So let's go ahead and determine our solutions. So determining my solutions, I'll go back to my unit circle. And I'll say that cosine of 2x equals 0. Well, that occurs at two points. You could say at pi halves, right? That's at 0, 1, and at 3 pi halves. So we could say 2x equals pi over 2. And then you could say, now, if I go to pi over 2 to go from this solution, you could also do 2x equals 3 pi over 2. Well, remember, ladies and gentlemen, we're trying to find all the solutions. So to get from this solution to this solution, what do I have to add? Pi. pi. And if I add pi again, it takes me to the next one. So rather than writing both the solutions, I can just say 2x equals pi halves plus pi times r. All right? Now let's go into when is cosine equal to 1 half. Well, we've done this already a couple times today. That's at the angle pi over 3, and then also at the angle of um, 4 pi 5 pi over 3. Oh, it is a negative. You're right. So therefore, it's 2 pi over 3. And then also my other angle, which is 4 pi over 3. So I can say x equals, um, now the thing is about 4 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, if I add pi to it, that's going to take me over here, which is not a solution, which is not another solution. So the only way to go from um, my, I'm sorry, my 2 pi over 3 to the next solution is I have to add a full revolution. All right. The same thing for 4 pi over 3. I can't add any number constantly around there to give me the other solution, so I'm going to have to add another 2 pi. So in this case, I'm going to have x equals uh, 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi r. And x equals 4 pi over 3 plus 2 pi r. Now, in this case, since we have a double angle, to find my solutions of x, I'm going to have to divide by 2. So therefore, x equals pi over 4 plus pi halves r. OK? It's not, don't think of this as the 2x. Just think of this as cosine of x equals 0. When does cosine of x equals 0? It equals 0 at pi halves and at 3 pi halves. But if I go to pi halves plus pi, that takes me to 3 pi halves. Okay? So it doesn't matter what, if it's a double angle, a half angle, and so forth. You just solve for the cosine of your angle when it equals 0. Okay? Then you apply your double angle, half angle, whatever else we're going to be doing. Okay? So don't, worry, don't let this affect your answer until you get to this point. Once you're able to figure out what x is, right? then you can do, oh, it's 2x, divide by 2 now. Okay? The same thing. This could be like, this could be x over 2. You still do the exact same answer until you get to this last point, and then you'd multiply by 2 to get x by itself. Okay? Anybody have any last questions? Good?